Hello friends, I am Ankit and welcome to my channel. I am here with my daily predictions and analysis for gold, Dow Jones and Nasdaq 100. Today with the help of candlestick charts and indicators, we will try to find out the trading range for the day, the entries and the take profits. I am going to give you the trading levels with the entries, so do watch till the end. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Friends, I share my daily analysis. One with the Asia session opens, I share for global markets and commodities, which also include gold, silver and oil and NG and also US, UK, India and Germany markets. So do press the bell icon, stay tuned with the latest analysis. Now let's start the day with gold first. See gold, as I said in the morning, only short is below 1918 and it has perfectly honored 1918 till now it has not gone below the levels it is shied from in fact in fact it is not gone below 1922 itself now this is 30 minutes let's not go into 30 minutes chart let's have a look at the four hour charts first now look at this this is the four hour charts for gold and here you can find see it is getting the support here at 1922 and there is a resistance at 1929 so precisely i will recommend to go long only once it crosses 1932 levels Be beyond 1932 definitely it's a buy and it is going to go towards 1935 and in fact it might try to hit 1940 levels so i'll be watchful of that any long entry is recommended beyond 1932 levels right now if you see this is the four hour candle and it is trying to consolidate here so probably see it is trying to consolidate and see this candle almost uh 15 points of move it is given and from here i can expect that whenever it gives you a breakout it will again give you 15 points of move at least taking it towards 1935 1940 levels so my expectation till the time it remains above 1918 probably we can expect it to hit 1935 or 1940 levels today itself that is my expectation and look at the dpo is in sell side the stochastic is looking upwards MACD is still in buy and rsi is comfortable this is on the four hour charts let's have a look at the three hour charts here on the three hour charts the story is little bit different see it is trying to give you so if it breaks this zone here at 1927 1928 that is the point you can go long so i'll recommend here on the three hour chart it appears 1927 1928 rather you can take 1928 as a long entry you can buy here and you can expect it to rise the first target is towards 19 29.5 1931 and 1933 beyond 1933 definitely it will fly towards 1940 levels so i'll recommend here to go long at 1928 see different time frame different chart till the time it is below 1928 uh, uh, we can expect that see it is trying to drop but here is a good support at 1922 which it is trying to honor and then the next support is 1918 levels so till the time it remains above, I will be bullish here. I will be expecting it to rise. Uh, three hour charts looking upwards. MACD on three hour charts is parallel. And now coming back to the two hour charts. On the two hour charts, it is near to overbought. Uh, also see it is trying to consolidate again in this zone. And see previously higher highs, higher lows. And this time it is given a breakout. So probably I will be very much cautious here. Only if it breaks 1928, I will recommend you to go long there. And yes, there is a resistance very nearby at 1929, 1931, and then 1935 levels. These three levels are very important for gold to go and pass by. If it passes 1935, definitely it is going to fly beyond 1940 41 levels and in fact 1947 1960 can also be achieved so i'll be watchful in between this zone that is 1920 to 1935 and in fact 1928 to 1935 even if it rises it might get a stronger resistance in between that zone uh, four hour, two hour charts are near to overbought looking downwards but let's see how it behaves and stochastic is trying to cross over on the buy side here rsi is comfortable and similarly on the early uh, early charts here see on the early charts lower highs higher lows and breakout so this is the breakout candle i will be watchful of this i will be cautious here next candle might further take it down i will be very very watchful here 
and yes if it breaks this zone at 1928 definitely that is a time to go long you can expect 1930 1931 1932 levels to give it a little resistance and beyond that definitely it will fly towards 1935 and 1940 levels so uh, be a little bit cautious here and yes 1918 is the ultimate level it will remain a strong support for the day on the early charts uh, it is bearish on the stochastic is comfortable neither overbought not oversold and uh, macd lines are still in buy side now let's come back to the daily charts now which is a more important now look at this on the daily charts see it has got flat bottom here higher lows is what we are looking at higher highs it is trying to give so uh, probably it may try to trade in this range itself before trying to give a breakout tomorrow or in fact if it tries to give a breakout there should be a resistance at 1931 1935 levels beyond that definitely we can expect a expect it to fly towards 1940 45 zone also if it breaks here at 1918 definitely it may try to give you a strong breakdown towards 1914 1910 and 197 levels we can expect similar size of candle we can expect a bigger red candle if it breaks 1918 we can expect a bigger red candle so be very cautious while taking a short or long position rather till the time it trades between 1928 and 1918 i'll recommend not to trade now look at the daily charts here on the daily charts you'll find that stochastic is uh, comfortable and near to oversold levels macd lines are still on sell side and are divergent and macd is an rsi is comfortable so considering this let me give you the trading levels for the day first let's talk about where to go long i will recommend you to buy only at 1928.5 see as i told it has got very nearby resistances at 1930 1931 1933 and 1935 till here it can try to reverse any point of time so keep your stop losses in place and then only trade don't trade without a stop loss because it may try to come back again on the downside on the upside if it breaks 1935 my next target is 1941 1947 1951 and beyond that it will fly towards 1960 be very cautious take your positions accordingly on the downside on the downside see your any see of the first long entry keep your stop loss there at 1924 itself and if it breaks 1924 still don't go short the only short entry is at 1918 if it breaks 1918 you can go short you can expect 1914 1911 1907 and 1904 beyond that it will try to go below 1997 i'll be bearish if it breaks 1900 i'll be bearish but i'll i am still expecting it to rise i'll expect it to hit at least 1935 levels 1941 levels today itself and probably it can trade bullish don't go short until 1918 don't go short until 1918 i am repeating it again and if you are taking a long entry always keep your stop loss at cost always shift your stop loss at cost for example if it achieves 1930 you can put your stop loss at 1928.5 if it achieves 1931 keep your stop loss here again till here till here it's fine but once it achieves 1941 put your stop loss at 1935 levels and trade accordingly so this is how you need to trade and preserve your capital now let's have a look at us 100 now look at us 100 us 100 on the daily charts has given lower highs here and when it gives lower highs it is implication that it implies that probably it may trade bearish only long entry on us 100 is above 14460 levels so if it breaks 14460 definitely that is the time you should go long you can expect 14500 14550 14600 levels then it will be leaving a good big tail behind it may try to give you strong bullish candle so we have to be cautious there but till the time it remains below 14460 you can remain short you can again expect it to drop towards downside and the target should be somewhere here at 14250 14 200 zone it can try to break till here it can try to give you equally big candle see i have already taken a position here you can see i have already taken position here and probably we may see a little drop but let's see Uh, markets are beyond you and me how far it could drop if it continues to drop how far this could come 
the first support at 14200 which is going to be a stronger support for us 100 if it breaks 14200 then only i will recommend probably to stay and keep a positional short for rest of the week then we can expect it to drop significantly now let me turn on the indicators also here on the indicators part you will find that see there is a good support here at around 14380 zone if it breaks 14370 yes you can expect 14330 to provide a support and below 14330 you can again expect it to drop again and the next support level at 14250 and 14 180 levels to come into picture i think uh, 14200 levels we should not miss that is also a stronger support uh, directional movement is bearish it is crossed over and look at this the daily charts is overbought and hence probably you can expect a red candle and look at the magd the magd is wide and divergent so for it to converge it has to give a red candle and then the convergence will start for near future the rsi is comfortable there looking at the four hour charts on the four hour charts you will find see on the four hour charts here is the support level at around 14 100 zone so if it breaks 14 200 i will be expecting 14 100 14 000 and then 13 900 till here it has got a stronger support breaking 13 900 then 13 800 700 uh, 650 zone will come into picture so yes it has got a stronger support on the downside also look at this it is trading at the top of the bollinger bands then possibly we may see it may see a little resistance here any long entry beyond 14460 yes you can take and you can expect it to rise and then it will be strongly bullish if it goes past 14460 levels MACD line or uh, directional movement is bullish still and stochastic is looking downwards it is divergent looking downwards hence we can expect a red candle there and MACD is trying to cross over on sell side so once this crossover happens probably you can again expect it to drop a little and look at the RSI near to overbought now coming back to the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts see similarly on the 3 hour charts there is a support here at 14200 and 150 probably this zone it has to pass by for any significant drop right now also it has got a support at 14330 any drop below 14300 definitely you can take a short entry there and you can expect it to drop towards 14200 180 150 and then 14100 and 14000 levels now look at this directional movement is still bearish and it's on the three archers the stochastic is looking upwards here so i'll be very much cautious here if it continues to give a green candle and if it breaks 14460 definitely that is the time to go long but there is a crossover on MACD on the 3 hour chart and hence you can expect further a few red candles RSI is overbought on the 3 hour charts and hence we may see a little drop to cool down a bit but only short entry is below 14300 levels look at this uh, on the 2 hour charts similarly it is giving higher lows so and higher high so i'll be cautious here and i'll be cautious till the time it remains below 14460 levels and till the time it below remains above 14330 levels so between 14330 and 14460 it is a no trade zone and you can expect it to rise beyond and below you can expect it to break to our charts stochastic looking up but still on buy side and there is a crossover on macd on the two hour charts as well rsi is near to overbought and on the hourly charts similar is the story you can find higher lows you can find higher highs there is a support here so yes if it breaks 14330 you can take a short entry here you can expect it to drop also if it breaks 14460 don't forget to go long so couple of entry points no trade zone we have got and yes uh early charts near to overbought possibly you can expect it to drop macd has just crossed over rsi is comfortable so considering this let me give you the trading levels for the day Firstly, the only long entry on US 100 is at 14,460. If it breaks 14,460, you can take a long entry, then it will hit 14,520, which is going to be a good support of resistance, and then 14,600 and 14,650. It can rise till there. Remember, it can rise beyond, it can rise till 14650 it can rise till 14740 also these are markets beyond you and me don't expect that it is going to drop just trade with levels if it breaks 14460 you should close your shorts and remain long now on the flip side on the other side 
the only short entry is at around 14330 if it breaks 14330 it will still get a raise support at 14280 levels and once 14280 is taken definitely it will try to fly towards drop towards 14240 14200 and then 14150 14100 then 14000 and in fact it can drop again below these levels remember there is a strong support at 14200 for nasdaq 100 so yes nasdaq 100 getting a support at 200 i won't find this as a good rhythm but yes this is a good uh, you can say rhyme that it is going to get a good support at 14200 beyond 14200 one can remain short for the entire week it is going to drop you can keep your positions accordingly also if you see it getting a little resistance at around 14450 zone you can take a short entry here too and can profit from there by almost getting 130 points 150 points and accordingly so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at us 30 so this is the hourly chart for us 30 you can find 34580 levels is going to be the support level previously you can see couple of candles giving it a resistance so here we can find a little support at 34580 if it breaks 34580 then the next target is 34400 below 34580 one can remain short and one can expect it to drop in between this zone that is 34400 to 34200 somewhere here it will try to come back again and it may try to trade in between these levels so trade with caution any drop below 34580 uh, i think that is a going to be a very good level to go short so trade accordingly now look at the let me also turn on the indicators simultaneously here and if you look at the indicators let me come back to the hourly charts again and on the hourly charts you will find that see this is a 20 period moving average here giving it a support at 34650 now and here is a support at 34580 this is a pivot level so yes if it breaks 34580 one can remain short that is what we can see here on the hourly charts and it is near to overbought not overbought one one must say it is near to overbought on the stochastic and still on sell and the macd lines and rsi is near to uh, overbought but not yet overbought look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts it appears that possibly we may see a little rise here see higher lows and higher highs so don't take still i will recommend don't take a long entry till the time it is below 34800 till the time it is below 34800 i will not recommend you to take a long entry there also till the time it is above 34580 i will not recommend you to take a short entry but yes right now there is a little support at 34650 levels and any break below will be a good indication that it is going to drop further to our stochastic looking upwards on the buy side and macd is on sell side on the 2 hour charts rsi is still comfortable neither overbought not oversold coming back to the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts you will find similarly that see the lows here as around 34580 getting the support there higher highs since then it is trying to expand and yes i will not recommend a long entry till 34800 as i told before i will not recommend a long entry till the time it is below 34800 only beyond 34800 one can take a long entry and similarly below 34580 you can take a short entry it is what is visible there also and stochastic is looking downwards but trying to converge and trying to go upwards macd trying to cross over here and already crossed over and giving a red candle rsi is near to overbought similarly on the 4 hour charts now coming back to the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts higher lows higher highs probably the high here at around 34760 you can try to initiate a short entry there and the support at 34580 it may try to trade in between these levels any drop below above any breakout above or below will be a good indication to take your positions and uh, directional movement is in green uh, stochastic on the 4 hour chart looking downwards here so probably it can enter into oversold position with a little drop macd has just crossed over on the 4 hour charts and hence you can expect a little drop 
and um, RSI is near to overbought. On the daily charts, you will find, see coming back to the daily charts, this is the 100 period moving average which, will, which is going to be stronger resistance and here you can find this uh, exponential 100 period moving average which might give it a uh, little uh, sorry this is volume weighted moving average giving it a little resistance at 34800 so as i said only long entry is beyond 34800 beyond which you can expect it to rise strongly above which it can give you a rise till 35000 and beyond that sky is the limit also there is a pivot at 34580 below which it can try to drop and then downside sky is open still on buy side on the mm, directional movement but trying to converge and cross over it is extremely overbought on the stochastic and hence I am expecting it to drop. If not today, then tomorrow it has to drop. See, when I say it has to drop, it has to drop. And how, how, however high it goes, it will definitely drop. That is my expectation. If not today, then tomorrow, day after tomorrow, but it will drop strongly. And look at the MACD. The MACD is also extremely overbought here. And the peaks here are may try to converge. So probably it has to get further red candles, couple of red candles for it to converge and cross over and come down and RSI is near to comfortable levels. So considering this, let me give you the trading levels for the day. See only long entry I will recommend is at 34,760 beyond which you can expect 34,800 which is going to be the strongest resistance. 40 points of move, it can drop from here, mark my words, it can drop from here. Beyond 34,800 it will still get a little resistance at 34,840 and beyond that it will directly fly towards 35,000. Beyond that 35,200 can also be achieved if it continues to rise. Sky is the limit on the upside. However, I expect 34,800 zone may provide a little resistance and it won't break 34,800. But see, this is my expectation and I don't run markets. It can go beyond that. Now look at where to short. So, the only short entry I will recommend is at around 34,580. If it breaks 34,580, definitely it will try to hit 34,500, the first support and below 34,500, 34,400. Below 34,400, 34,350 and 34,300, then 34,200 will come come into picture. It is talking in terms of hundreds. Let's take the same language 34200 may provide a little resistance and then 34000 will come into picture. Below, below that sky is the limit. It can drop heavily towards 33900 and below levels. So, take your positions accordingly. This is all from my side for uh, gold US 30 and US 100. Join my telegram channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or trading related queries. And my next batch starting on 4th of April, definitely first invest in your learning, then only you can be a better and proficient trader and also reap better profits from markets. So first invest in learning, then get the investment and profits from markets. So thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.